When you launch iMovie for the very first time, the project window appears. Before you can begin creating a movie, the first step is to create a project. You can think of a project as the master blueprint for all your work in iMovie. Click the gray thumbnail and you're asked if you want to create a movie or a trailer. Let's select Movie. The project we just created appears at the top of the Libraries list. To import media into the project, select the project, then click the Import arrow in the toolbar, or click this larger arrow here in the empty browser. Doing so opens the Import window. This window is used for selecting and importing video clips, photographs, graphics, and audio files. These files can be located on cameras, on your computer, or on a connected hard drive. At the top of the window, there's a pop-up menu that tells iMovie where the media will be imported into. By default, it's set for project media, which means that after the media is imported, it will be immediately available for the current project. If we wanted to, we could choose to import the media directly into an existing event or create a new event. You might choose this option if you plan on importing a lot of media from various sources and you need to keep it all organized in the library prior to adding it to your project. Let's set this back to Project Media. The left sidebar contains a list of media sources, including cameras, devices, and favorite locations. If your Mac has a built-in camera, you can select it here and record a clip directly into iMovie. As you can see in the cameras list, I have an iPhone connected to my computer. Selecting it will populate this area below with any videos and photos in my iPhone's camera roll. Using this pop-up, you can choose whether you want to see just photos, just video, or both. Let's choose videos. We can change the size of the preview thumbnails by clicking this gear icon. We can also enable waveforms to see if there's audio with these clips. And we can choose to hide any clips we may have imported earlier with this checkbox. To quickly preview each clip's contents, skim over each thumbnail. To play a clip from the current skimmer position, press the spacebar. To select a clip for import, simply click it. A yellow band appears around the clip to indicate that it's selected. To select more than one clip, press the command key and click each clip you want to import. Or you can select a clip, then shift click a later clip to select a range of clips. An even faster method is to drag out a box, called a marquee around a group of clips you want to import. To deselect clips, click in an empty gray area. If no clips are selected, you can import them all by clicking the Import All button. Let's select a few of these underwater clips here. Then click Import Selected. The import window closes. The circle icon on each clip indicates the progress of your import. If you have notifications enabled, you're also notified that the import is complete and you can disconnect your iPhone. The imported clips now appear in the Project Media Browser under the project name My Movie. In order to save your movie using a different name, click the Projects button and you'll be prompted to name your movie. I'll name this one Kate's First Dive and click OK. Notice, we're now back in the Projects Browser where we have the option to open the project we just saved or create a new one. I'll open the one I just saved by double-clicking its thumbnail. Next, we'll import some video clips from a GoPro camera. These cameras have become very popular in recent years because they shoot in practically any environment and produce high-quality video and photographs. Now here's a tip. Rather than connecting the camera directly to your computer, it's better to take the storage card out of the camera and put it in a card reader that is connected to your Mac. This way, you'll be able to preview your movies before importing them. With my card reader connected to the USB port, iMovie will sense the connection and automatically open the import window. The card appears in the camera section and is selected. I'll skim a few clips, then select these clips and import them. Sometimes you want to import media that's already been copied to a folder on your computer. If you've downloaded the media for following along, you can import its contents in one of two ways. Click the Import button on the toolbar, then select the Home icon in the Favorites section. Navigate to the Scuba Media folder containing the media files, select a file or a group of files, and click Import Selected. 
An even faster method is to go to your Mac Finder and drag a clip, a group of clips, or even the entire folder into the browser. When you purchase this tutorial, a link to the media will be provided so you can follow along in iMovie. Since we'll be using all the clips in the Scuba Media folder to build our movie, drag the entire folder over the browser and release your mouse. You can, of course, continue to import more media as you create your movie. Notice that media you import into a project also appears in your library. This is important to understand because when you create a new movie or trailer, you'll often want to draw media from your library that was imported from other projects. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to review and rate our clips in preparation for editing. If you want to learn more about iMovie, check out our Lessons for iMovie app in the Mac App Store, or go to rippletraining.com to see our full library of iMovie and Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials.